uh, let's talk about, um, you know, people trying to do more in the AI space. So I know that you're familiar with the company Jitix. Yes. Uh, can you talk about their mission and what they're trying to do and, and in, you know, the AI space and what are they trying to do for electrical engineers, PCB designers, software engineers? What are they trying to accomplish? The key advantage that electrical engineers and engineers in general, but let me speak for double E, yeah. is that the information that AI is being fed right. is based on predictable things that don't change, right. which is rooted in physics and mathematics. Right. Whereas opposed to like maybe copywriting where you need to get certain qualitative data and all that stuff, the physics doesn't change. Physics doesn't change, right. So we have a particular advantage that when we apply tools onto that stuff right. and rules are adhered to, it works. Right. AI, however, I don't think is the appropriate solution for something that is predictable and law-based. You, you don't have to guess at like, it's extra work to run a bunch of data to right. get something that guesses at the right laws and gets right. it right most of the time. Right. Because it's just guessing tokens. Right. You don't want probability embedded in a... No. Right? <laughs> That's why we have circuit and simulators and ANSYS. Right. Those software tools have never designed a PCB in their life. Right. But we trust them and we can design cell phones with them. Right. So we use... we. This is why a programmatic approach right. to doing heavy lifting for certain tedious tasks is super valuable. And this is exactly what JITX is doing. So things like component selection mm -hmm. and making sure that the components that are selected are triply sourced from the supply chain in real time, using real time data, ensuring that, here's the thing, it would normally take me five to 10 minutes to smack out uh, certain resistors, certain capacitors, microcontroller chips, and everything. But with a line of code in JITX, I could see you. I could say use a rest strap command, pick this package, twelve oh six, uh, one kilo ohm resistor, and so on and so forth. In one line of code, five seconds, it's it's selected for me. Five ten seconds, literally. So these are in training videos that I recently did for JITX, and it's phenomenal. So now I'm saving. Orders of magnitudes of time. Well, maybe not orders. Of, I'm saving <laughs> multiple hours of time. Right. I can get jo my job done overall in half or a fourth of the time with these tedious little tasks. Another thing that they're doing, they actually have an auto router that I don't have to take a whole afternoon to set up for my specific design or application. Right. There's still some signal integrity rules that need to be set in place, but having it defined in code and then having the solver use its algorithm to incorporate that data is way less time consuming than doing it in a typical or normal constraint manager. And in addition, it actually does the job. Like when I'm routing the PCB and I'm placing the components and I hit route, auto route, that thing hits it with the right signal integrity. And it doesn't do something that doesn't adhere to the rules I'd set in for the signal integrity. That is an absolute game changer. It has other little features like Wait, wait, in, the, in that, let's just dive a little oh, bit deeper. Oh, gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Um, So did you have to set up constraints or something like a constraint system? You do have to set up something okay. like a constraint system. So the constraints on the code is there, but it's less of, it's more algorithmic. I'd say you only need to put in how much delay or loss you want, your requirements. It's a requirement-based input. Okay. As opposed to you using your own calculators to find out the requirements you need, and then you going into the constraint manager and then putting in the right. distances and the right. rules it, it adheres to. Right. So a typical constraint manager is not aware of right. how to even calculate your requirements. It would allow you to do whatever, right. put anything in there. Right, exactly. And it'll just say, oh, well, this is these are the rules you told me. I don't, I don't know what to tell you after that. <laughs> uh, and you're doing the thinking right. for the software, which right. is what we're used to. Right. The paradigm shift now right. is that the program is doing the calculations for us. Right. And we're just telling it what we want. I say, I want right. no greater loss than this. Right. I want these and these requirements. I want on a six layer stack up. Do it. Solve it for me. Right. Right. And it does that and it does the routing for you. And right. that that is the profound shift that I the paradigm shift that I think engineers have been waiting for in double e to be like oh my gosh i'd love for you to do 
a lot of the heavy lifting for me. Right, right. Exactly. And I could just go in and check and verify the right. simulation. Right. That's what they're doing. 